know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother, sacred harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness, who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Uh, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed the world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right. Let's wrap this up. I'm sand in my nanopolymer weave. Oh, that? It was nothing. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? This shouldn't take long. Who designed your armor? Because it looks like junk.
they haven't given up yet. It will take more than that, I'm afraid. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. This won't end well for you. Fair enough. That was really something. Prepare yourself. I am a sorcerer supreme. Perhaps there's a bounty on Sorcerer Supremes? Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept it. Just this once. Lilith, and it may very well cost you your life. Watch and learn, my friends. I know that wasn't your signature move. Don't worry, I've got you. I thank you. Efforts will never deter me. We haven't quite broken their spirit yet. I must be the popular one today. I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. Spell <laughs> the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. Sure, why not? Hey, it worked, didn't it? A moment of... <laughs> this one won't bother us again. And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Whoa! Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Oh, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxima, the wards of protection, if you please. Steven, I can fight. 
I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. I drew Mortalis. I still don't like your chances. Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but... Uh, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Interesting. One more time. <laughs> Which arm are you guys again? Arm D, B team, third string? That will be enough. That'll work. Oh, that Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. but not bad. Ready? Don't mess with me. Follow my movement. Lilith doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. Hail Hydra! On beta, moving into position! Bring your whole army for all I care. How do these guys just keep showing up? They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection.
That's the spirit. Let's do it. You guys should talk to your union rep. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. Regroup at position Tango. Honestly, now you're just wasting your time. We're three of the world's strongest. <laughs> Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game, and I have a terrible suspicion as to how. The wards. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Lilith, mother of demons, harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep, challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be still. What just happened? How? Be. God. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtute Vishanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. <laughs> what the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters, after all. <sighs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. 
speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. Child of light and darkness, you who came the night, hear the voice of those who beseech thee and... The caller! Wait! Good thing, right? Safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. But now I sense I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn peer? Daywalkers were a myth even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. I do. And I must admit, I am curious. Tell me, Daywalker, how did you come to be? Long story, and it's still not over. We managed not to kill each other for a while, and maybe I'll tell you one day. <laughs> I accept your challenge. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one.
Hold up. Did I miss something? Or did Nico just raise the dead? Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but either works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Well, how did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. So that was Lilith, huh? She has a real 90s album cover vibe. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe she's the hunter's mother. So that was Lilith, huh? She has a real 90s album cover vibe. Fascinating. What is this? Ah, I see. Interesting. That is... something. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to me. This is which sign?
There are cracks in this wall. There isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. You'll have to trust that the hunter's past experience is enough. Taking a big risk with your chosen one. You act as if I'm thrilled with the situation. If you're concerned, then be all the more vigilant out there. You think now's really the time for that? I nearly broke my hand on Lilith's face. She didn't even flinch. The more dangerous the foe, the funnier I get. That's debate. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. There must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges, bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force, pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. 
You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. So, crazy day, huh? With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose con- Even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. Wards have been activated before, and I've never experienced such a reaction. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. I understand the urgency. Your apprentice is in grave danger, yes? Wanda is no mere apprentice. She is the Scarlet Witch, one of the strongest magical practitioners I have encountered. But she hasn't channeled such power on her own since... Never mind. One crisis at a time. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. About time? Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting Dread Maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of 
Dark energy. That feeling you're being watched? General Hellho vibe? Yes. All these potentialities converging at once? Truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards. Well, at least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. Arm Alpha in position! Welcome to New York. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Let's give it a go. I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. You had your chance to... Lilith herself could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better? Time's over. Interesting tactic. You think you're going? For the mother. No, that wasn't very nice. 
It appears they've bolstered their forces. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Just what this battle requires. Your fate is... Never seen that before. Weak, even for Hydra. You've been deceived by Lilith, and it may very well cost you your life. Fear is temporary. I am forever. Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. And I will be doing that again. Saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the mother pumps through our veins. The mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Wanna bet? <laughs> Wanda! Ward! Weakening! Cannot let them fail! Association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. <laughs> or <laughs> not. We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We venom to all who oppose her, and you are large!
Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed Europe. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. They cannot possibly match your strength. Do I look a bit younger to you? Time's up for these jumps. Look how fragile you are! Squirming only brings us closer! Rest of your mother's children, so chatty. Thankfully, no. Lucky to still be breathing. You were too weak for this fight. Movements. 
is angering. You are puny. You go. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. my friends. Just like old times. A gift from the ancient traditions. Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's sort of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. 
Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again. Putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. <laughs>